So, hello, Mr. Dukovsky's Math Analysis class. This is my chapter video on chapter 9, adding vectors and finding the magnitude and direction of things is basically the whole gist of this chapter. So here's my chapter 9 video. And what we are given is this picture right here without that little information. We're given the 40 degree angle, the 3 newtons, and the 10 newtons. So our directions say find the direction and magnitude of the resultant. So what we're going to do is the 3 newtons can be reflected onto the other side and we're given our 40 degree angle so we're going to draw in our resultant tip to tail and then the 40 degree is now no longer in play because we just cut it not technically in half because it wasn't perpendicular but we did cut it so we know that two angles are going to add up to 180 degrees so we have a 40 degree angle 140 equals 180 so we now know that this angle is 140 degrees now we can solve for our resultant so here we solved for our resultant. We have the resultant squared, or the magnitude of the resultant squared, plus r equals 3 squared, which is the side length, plus 10 squared, which is our other side length, minus 2 times 3 times 10 times cosine of the angle, 140. Always make sure your angle is the one across from what you're trying to solve. So we just... Do simple math, 3 squared, 9, 10 squared, 100, 6, 10, right here, we just did that. Cosine 140, simplify a little bit more, 109 minus 60 times cosine of 140. And I put parentheses around my 60 times cosine of 140 because those are connected. When you finally solve, you get... The resultant is equal to 12.4 newtons. So in my head, I've square rooted and simplified this whole thing. So that's how you solve for your magnitude of your resultants. And you always put newtons because this is what was given to you. So direction, magnitude, we got check. Now we need to find our direction. So now we're trying to solve for the little fish. I'm pretty sure that's alpha, not 100%, but we're trying to solve for the fish. So now we're using, since we're using the fish as our angle, we're looking across at the three newtons because we want to correlate when we use law of cosines across from each other. So, 3 squared equals 10 squared plus 12.4 squared minus 2 times 10 times 12.4 equals cosine of the fishy. Easy math again, simplify, 900, type this into my calculator, it's 1.53.76. Simplify, simplify, bring it all down. Then I multiplied 20 times 12.4, simplify, simplify. And then also, I did 9 equals 12.53.76 get that from my simplifying right here, bring this down. So that's all connected. I know it doesn't look like it. But sorry, my horrible drawing. So um, then we bring it down, subtract to both sides. This actually becomes negative because of the negative right there. So that was a negative. Because this is also negative, negative divided by negative makes those become positive. So then we can move down. We have my 2, 4, 4.76 divided by 248 equals cosine of alpha. Then we just use inverse cosine like we've been doing, type it all into my calculator, and the fishy equals 9.27 degrees because we solved this whole thing in degrees, keeping it in correlation with these. So looking at our instructions again, find the direction, check right there, and magnitude, right there, of the resultant. Resultant, perfect. Then, that is my chapter 9 video.